Hey everyone, thanks again for joining with me for another episode of Getting Real with Rob. This is where I take your questions and almost anything goes. You can ask me any personal question that you want on the planet within reason. (laughs) At the end of the day, it's an opportunity for you to better get to know who I am, what makes me tick, my perspective on myself, on those around me, and on life circumstances. So I'm thrilled you're with me once again. This question comes from Rich Schmeiss from Havertown, Pennsylvania. Yo, Rich! Rich asks this, what makes you qualified to be a motivational speaker? Most people that are motivational speakers are pro athletes or people that were at the top of their field of business. Rich, an amazing question. I'm so thrilled you asked it. Listen, I just put it like this. I think there's two different types or kinds of motivational speakers. One could argue there's many more, but just for, I don't know, uh, conversation's sake, let's just say there's two, at least from my, my perspective. One is, Yes, someone who's the creme de la creme, the top of the top, you know, someone who is a professional athlete and the best at what they do, um, an author that has written tons of books and is a New York Times bestselling author and sold millions of copies, as well as just maybe a business owner of, or an entrepreneur that is recognizable. In any, in any event, they've reached a certain level of success from a public standpoint. And there's name recognition, there's brand recognition. And this individual may or may not be a motivational speaker of what comes out of their mouth, but just the mere fact they are who they are, they've reached a certain level of success if they are on the platform as a keynote speaker, workshop facilitator, at an event, so to speak. They are getting attention. People are already motivated to come based on their name and what they've established in their career. So I think that's one kind of a motivational speaker that makes up you know, a good aspect of motivational speaking, but there's a whole other world. And that world is people that certainly have experience and even an expert in their own right within any, you know, their sphere of influence, whether they're you know, still a professional athlete, maybe they're a, an entrepreneur or a business owner, they, they're an author, they're a content producer, but maybe they don't have the name recognition. Maybe they aren't a Fortune 500 business owner. Maybe they're not, yeah, a recognizable name within pro sports. But yet, they paved the way. They've accomplished some pretty extraordinary things in their own right. And not just, maybe so maybe they don't have the name recognition or the brand recognition being the top of the top from a recognition standpoint. But maybe, yeah, they have this core message on their heart based on who they are and what they've accomplished. And their message, this motivational and inspirational message resonates for people. So if people have never heard of them before, but yet maybe hear them give a talk, now their core message that they're delivering is resonating in the heart and the soul of the hearers of that message. And I believe that makes up a large part of the motivational and inspirational uh, market as well. So I just want to differentiate some things. And certainly there's a lot of gray and a lot of crossover. You know, I've been so honored over the years to do what I do. You know, I'm a, a business owner. I've started a number of different non and for profit businesses over the years. And through statistical data and research, as well as my own experience, you know, I've clearly identified and part, uh, a huge part of my core message is inside out leadership. That so many people are trying to lead people through the latest and greatest techniques and strategies. But I've clearly identified, you know, I'm not saying all that stuff's bad, but I've identified that there's a better way to lead people. And it's, it's, it's from the inside out. That the more in fact you find out who you are, as a unique human being and working professional and leader, out of that place deep within you, you begin letting it work itself out. And now it's influencing people positively all around in your sphere of influence. And I've had the joy now of just, yeah, coming up with that core message and speaking to all different groups, all different shapes and sizes, for-profit, non-profit businesses. And I'm so thankful that it's resonating with so many people. And, and giving a voice to so many people that may not have the voice that I've been uh, honored to have. So Rich, great question. Hopefully I address at least a large part of what you wanted me to. So thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Getting Real with Rob. Until the next time, I'll see you later. Bye.